Hi everyone, happy new release day. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and that is 2021 Topps Museum Collection Baseball six box pick your team number three. All card ship and it's a half case from a fresh case and then pick your team four will be the second half of this. Very big thank you to everybody who got into the action today. Appreciate it. All right, now let's see which half we're gonna do. All right, so on the dice roll, we'll go one, two, three for this side right here and four, five, six for this other side right there. Go with that one. Three, one, two, three. So this side we will do uh, break four. We'll do for break four. So we'll mark, mark all those four so you know they're from the same case. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there it is. You can kind of see it right there against the reflection. All right. Let's slide this over here. All right, and so we're doing break three right now. Break four is down to four teams left, so we should be able to do that relatively soon. We got Indians, Mets, Yankees, and Mariners left. So let's get those, let's get that done. We haven't had to do any fillers, so hopefully we don't have to for that one as well. All right, thanks everybody. And let's see what's inside. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to hit the bell a couple times here in this break. Ooh, there's the frame right out of the gate. First pack, first box, first half. Those frames are, are one per uh, one per case. Joey Bart to 150 for the Giants. Only for Eric Leal. All right. Behind Anthony Rizzo is Jorge Soler, two color patch, three out of 35. KC. The X-Line with the Royals. That's a reproduction. And that's a Manny Machado. 10 out of 99. Two color, quad relic. Heading out to Brian Peoples and his Padres. There's Juan Soto. And that reveals a Marcus Stroman dual relic and autograph. 37 out of 50 for the Metropolitans. Robert Flores with New York. And let's 
see what the frame is all about. It's behind a Clayton Kershaw base card. Good luck, everybody. It's, wow, it's Derek Jeter. Three out of 15, silver frame, silver ink autograph, Derek Jeter. Michael P. with the Yankees. Nice. This museum collection stuff is loaded. All right, another box. Box two, you pick your team three. See what we got in here. Another four mini boxes. Good luck. Let's grab all the other cards first. Then we'll see the hits. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. to 99. An all card ship, of course. Behind Stan, the man Musial. Quad relic, a quartet of Yankees. Aaron Judge. Gary Sanchez, Giancarlo Stan, and Glaber Day, Glaber Torres to 99. Another one for Michael. Behind the reproduction card is Triple Relic and Autograph, Casey Mize, Detroit. It's going to be for JM, Jeff Mason. The rising star Casey Mize, 216 out of 249. Sixo Sanchez reveals a JD Davis meaningful material, 24 out of 35. Two color patch, Robert and the Mets. Behind the babe. Is a silver ink autograph for the Red Legs, Trevor Bauer, 100 out of 200. David with the Reds. All right, next box. Good luck. go another one our first redemption of the case any uh, any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights
It's Barry Larkin, 97 out of 99. Freddie Freeman to 150. Sean D is guessing DeGrom. There's Ted Williams, and Ted Williams will reveal a triple relic and autograph. Steven Strasburg. Twenty-four out of forty-nine. Alex with the Nationals. Ozzy Albies reveals a uh, what? What is this quartet here? Outfielders? Yeah, Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts, Bryce Harper. Nice quad relic, ninety-seven out of ninety-nine. That's going to be a randomizer between those four teams. One happy person, three sad people. Yeah, that's a pretty good group there. Behind the reproduction is another duel. Xander Bogarts, Rafael Devers. Nine out of 35. They've been playing some great baseball this year. Uh, the, the Red Sox, I think, went into the All-Star break as uh, in, in first place. Do they keep that up? Yeah, they're a game and a half ahead of Tampa Bay, eight games ahead of Toronto and New York and the Yankees. I think their starting pitching has, has been good, but will that keep up? I feel like that's the big question mark. But if they get, like, Chris Sale back, if they make a move at the deadline, it could be interesting. You're due to receive an archival autograph of S... Seattle, San Diego, San Francisco, E, it's got to be Seattle, right? Seattle, that's Marco Gonzalez. Archival autograph for the M's, Sean O with the Mariners. Next box. All right, so we are halfway through this half case break. Good luck. Sox are in first, in spite of some uh, some big injuries to key players. They're eight games ahead of Cleveland, 15 games ahead of Detroit and uh, Minnesota. Looks like they're going to win that division. I think they can keep it up. In the AL West, Houston's up three and a half games on the A's. And they're up seven games on Seattle, nine games ahead of the Angels, a lot of games ahead of the Rangers, who are clearly rebuilding. But Houston could keep that. That could be a pretty tight race. I don't know if it's going to be a tight race in the AL Central. But I think AL East, AL West could be some fun race to see at the end. 68 out of 99, Cody Bellinger, Miguel Cabrera to 150. Behind Carlos Correa is 
Quad Relic, Miguel Sano, 14 out of 75. Howard with the Twins. Behind the sketch reproduction of Ernie Banks is another twin, Max Kepler, dual relic and autograph. Two forty nine out of two seventy one. Behind Robin Yount is Silver Ink Autograph, John Cruck. Nice one ninety out of three hundred. That's going to be for Harry and the Phillies. And Ty Cobb's going to re reveal a dual relic, Reese Hoskins, Bryce Harper, 30 out of 50. Another one for uh, Harry and the Phillies. All right, onwards, next box. What about the NL? NL East should be a fun f fight to the finish. Mets are ahead by three and a half games on the next closest team, the Phillies. Mets are four games ahead of Atlanta, who lost Ronald Acuna Jr. Let's see how much that affects them. And Washington still in the mix, even though they lost four in a row going into the All-Star break. They're only six games behind New York. I guess Miami even has an outside chance. They're nine games behind New York. Marlins have some really sneaky good uh, good pitching. Oh, we do have more museum. There you go get it then. Yeah, I, I don't know what how much stuff we get, X-Line. I'm the wrong person to ask. I'm the last to know anything. I don't do any of the buying. I just look at the side and go, I guess that's all we have. But I'm glad you were, I gl I'm glad you kept checking. NL Central should be, I don't know what's going to happen in the NL Central. Milwaukee's up by four games, but like a week or so ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, everyone's like, eh, Milwaukee, not looking very good. But then they were, then they were looking real good. And then they lost three in a row, and four of they've lost six of their last ten. So I don't know what's happening there. In the meantime, the Reds are eight of their last have won eight of their last ten, and are only four games back of Milwaukee. And then the Cubs and the Cardinals are both uh, behind by eight games on Milwaukee. Who knows what's happening there? And a nice battle. In the NL West as well. A good old fashioned Giants versus Dodgers. I guess the Giants are for real. <laughs> Everyone was saying like, oh yeah, it's only only the first week of the season, only the first month of the season. Well, at this point, you gotta say that they're for real. It's Frank Robinson 150. Dodgers are two games behind the Giants. I think the Dodgers by the end of the season eventually get it done. And win the division again. San Diego still in the mix too. With uh, back by six games. Vanilla saying Giants greater than the Dodgers. I mean, for now. There's Evan Longoria. Seventy-five out of ninety-nine. Speaking of the Giants, that's for Eric Leal. Then we've got Monty Harrison. Dual relic and autograph, 29 out of 50. Miami, that'll be for Heath. Behind Luis Robert is silver ink autograph, Keston Hira, 153 out of... 300. Oh, there's Michael P. with the Jeter. Congrats, man. That was awesome. I 
Thanks for getting the Yankees. All right, Brewers, Peter Eng with the Brew Crew gets the Keston Hira. And behind Goldie is Lucas Giolito, 20 out of 35. All right, final box coming up. How's Pick Your Team 4 looking? Pick Your Team 4 still holding at four teams left. Second half of this case, Indians, Mets, Yankees, Mariners. See you, Jesse. open the final four mini boxes. So as of now, the wild card situation, the Tampa Bay Rays and the Oakland A's are have uh, wild card spots right now. Oakland could be could Oakland be buyers? It might be. Ooh, feels like a book in here. And then Seattle's three and a half games behind a wild card spot. A lot of teams kind of in the mix for a wild card spot, actually. Seattle, Toronto, four and a half games back. Yankees, four and a half back. Cleveland, four and a half back. Angels, five and a half games back of a wild card spot. So there's still something to fight for there. As of now, the wild card teams in the NL, Dodgers, and Padres. Reds are three and a half games back of a wild card spot. Phillies are six and a half games back. Braves are seven games back. Cubs are seven and a half games back. So is St. Louis. I think some of those teams are trying to probably trying to look to win their division instead. We got a book, another Atelier autograph. We saw one in the previous break. Um, it was a, a landscape photo of of a uh, of the Marlins ballpark and Sixto Sanchez's autograph. It was pretty nice. It was Randy Johnson Diamondbacks edition. Blake Snell to 150. And let's look at the other hits first before the book. There's J.D. Martinez, 13 out of 99, quad relic. Eric Jennings in the Red Sox, last spot mojo. Strikes again. Freddie Freeman. Reveals. Ooh, a sweet Lou Brock patch and autograph. What a patch. Nice autograph. Nine out of 15. That's the X line with the St. Louis Cardinals. Nice. And RIP, right? When did he. I think a, a couple of Cardinals legends had passed away within months of each other. Last September, Lou Brock. Nice legend for uh, the X line and the Cardinals. Behind the reproduction, Johnny Baseball is Jorge Alfaro. M um, yeah, meaningful material. 31 out of 50. Got a piece of his lumber. That's for the fish. Heath with Miami. All right, a book and then the randomizer for that quad relic. Let's see what we got. Good luck. What stadium is that? That's City Field. 
It's Pete Alonzo. Nice. So there's his gold ink autograph right there. So this is a really cool design. 16 out of 25. That's Robert Flores with the New York Metropolitans. Nice one. And now the quad relic randomizer. Good luck. Let's go to a blank list. We'll type in the hits or uh, team names that is. Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, and then Mookie Betts, Bryce Harper. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a five, nine times. Team on top after nine will get the quad relic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And good luck. Ninth and final time. After nine, stays with the Angels. And so that quad relic is going to go to Robert and the Halos. Great quartet of outfielders here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Nice brand new release. This is going to turn out to be a really nice new release day. That was Pick Your Team 3. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com.